putting that spring in feels a little dangerous when you haven't got the right tool. And I'll show you how I do it. did it. I just got that one in, so I'll show you how I'll put the other one in. Hopefully it goes in as slick as this one did. No casualty so far. tension on that thing. There's a special tool for this, but I don't do this very often. Get up there. Should put the other piece of water in before I squeeze it up. That is there. There are big rack and perks going from here to there. Breaking the wire. Tried zip ties, but they just don't work. You know. Looks like it's gonna hold. Snip some of these off out of the way.
Yeah. Compressed. Oop. Yeah. See if I can get this in here. Show you. I think I see what you're seeing. All right. So. Pick that up. And put it in like so. And then I'm going to shut the door as far as I can. I got that one pressed a little bit too tight. So, I'm gonna need both hands, guys. So, I'll be right. Oh, if I'm pointing in the right direction or not, I just uh. Oh, what's gonna happen here? So I'm gonna have to hold the two of them and cut the wire. Hope. Fly everywhere. That's to cut some more of these wires off. Tricky part. <laughs> Cutting the wires. And one cut, which didn't do much because I double wired it. I shouldn't have. Two cut. <laughs> Do this. I'm not sure what you're seeing. I think you're seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah, we'll cut that top wire. See what happens. And get the bottom wire. Oh. Did you see that? It's down in there. Anyways, I'll uh you see what I'm doing, so I'll uh bring it back once I get it in there. Alrighty, we got her in there. No fingers jammed. Those are hard to get in there. So it makes the door feel a lot better. It'll stay open now if it's out in the wind. That's just tape I got on there to keep the water from going down inside as much when it's outside because I do have the thing there but I don't want to put it in until I get this glass fixed the track so that's why that's on there and also the dash pad all painted 
It's turned out really good. That's the Dupacolor vinyl fabric paint. So that's done and installed. All looks good. Dash is nice and shiny. I'll give it a hand buffing with the compound and shine drop. And slowly but surely I'll get her back together. But right now I'm going to work on my plastic pieces. Here, getting them washed up, and those are not the ones, just those two, three, and these two pieces. So, I'm gonna get those washed up, sand it with 180, and prime them, and get them painted yellow. And I have a spoiler here which I tried to fix. I melted it, crack, it had a crack in it, and I melted it together, and then a GP welded it. I don't know if it's going to hold or not, but there's the back side, I'll weld it together. So, and this is going to be carbon fiber that goes underneath the front bumper. So, just working away a little at a time, playing around. But yeah, I got the trunk lid sanded out yesterday with. Uh, 1,000 and 2,000 and buffed and I took all the orange peel out of it but I am going to try to get uh, some finer sandpaper again and just make it even more shinier she is leveling up really really good so I spent three hours on that thing yesterday and just sanding and buffing but she's coming I just wanted to see if the car was going to look how it was going to look, sanded and buffed. I did a spot right here too, because it was really dry right here, and I wasn't sure if it was going to buff out good, but I don't know if you can see that, but it goes from, uh, I don't even know what the camera's picking up, but to really shiny. So, as you can see here, I don't know if you can see the roughness up there, but it is sanded out really good. So. Anyways, I'll be back as I'm making a little bit of progress. Lights given nice, pretty clear reflection of the light up there. Oops. So, I'm happy with how she's turning out. So, I'll be back. Now well, guys, got the plastic painted. It's not great plastic, but it's plastic. Rubber, whatever it is. Uh, I got some runs right there. You see that? This stuff is not in very good shape. So, I just decided to use it for now. And as time goes on, I'll find better condition stuff and replace it later. So oh, there's a major run. I find parts like this hard to paint. And there's my license plate cover. It was a little pitted, but still solid. Actually, I sprayed that with rattle can black and then I just threw it clear over it. So it seemed to work out alright. Never did that before, but it seems to work. So. I'll put these away and start putting them on the Nova the first chance I get. And that way I can get that front bumper on. And fly there. That was on the top layer so I can sand that little bugger out. I picked them off. But so but like I said, this stuff looks like it's in good shape, but it's all cracked. I just don't know what to do with rubber plastic, whatever it is, PVC I think. It's all on there, so but it'll do because not much of it's shown. So, anyways, I uh, got another little project for a friend of mine. I just uh, yeah. sandblasted a couple spots, one spot right there, which I put tape on because I had to wash the hair off. This Jetta, I don't even know what year it is. And I'm just going to fix those two spots and get to use that rubber adhesive eraser again because 
I gotta take the molding off and he's gonna put new on and uh, paint this side I uh, painted the other side a while back a year ago it's holding up good so we'll get that done and anyway I'm just farting around just thought I'd throw another video together and give you a little update on the Nova she's back out front I'll uh, show you what I look at every day kind of nice to see it sitting out here I don't have it directly under the trees no more but uh, let me stand back she looks pretty good sitting there I'm just glad when I can get to drive it that'll be a year so anyways guys it's just a quick video um, showing how I put those springs in I don't recommend anybody do that at home so uh, I'll let you go here and I don't know I don't know make no video in the Jetta just pretty straightforward stuff so hope everybody's having a good one and we'll talk to you later take care thanks for watching Put that fixed up a little better. Um, got that blister taken care of. Another one starting there. In this area, took care of that. Where the mud flap was digging in, treated that, took care of that, and your rocker. No. I gotta sand the whole side. It's 400, and we'll prime the spots. Jetta done. Well, the side of it. Turned out pretty good. And I took uh, HBR's device and wrapped my nozzle and the end of the thing on the gun and Good thing I did because there's water it was in the rig, trapped it. So and also cracked the valve on the bottom of the tank and let it just sizzle out. So I took that paper off real quick. This was painted about an hour ago. Nice and shiny. Little fly. Always get a fly. Or two. It was a blister right here. A big blister. Sandblasted that. Another blister there. Another blister down there on the rocker. Get that all cleaned up. And another hour or so I'll take the rest of the covering off and put it out. Done. I don't even gotta buff it. It looks really good so. Anyway, so that's the Jetta. Done. Just put it in there. Whole can. Had to build this little trough to make the chrome or trim fit. It's not doing anything yet, so. We'll keep an eye on it. Keep you updated. See how it works. She going? Yeah. She's starting to work. She's doing her bubbling thing. Keep uh, an eye on it. I had to add some more drain on it. wasn't strong enough. Paint's not helping. It is coming off too. Trixie, you go away. Go. Go away. Don't go too far off. Go out of here. Come here, you. Come on over to my mom. There you go. That's a good girl. Oh, this piece is going to come good. Wow. Watch, watch this. You got it? Yeah. Wow. Crap is stuck to me. Yeah. 
is it's going off good now. Oh yeah. She's doing what she needs to do. Still something right there, see it? Right where? Right here, see it? Oh yeah. I probably shouldn't have put it all in there, but I did. Oh well. Look at that. This piece is cold. It's got glue on it. Doesn't it? Do you want some more Drano? Nope. Okay, no. Trixie, you go back. There you go. You get out here anyway. I left the door open. It's too hot to run anywhere. It's like almost 40 degrees here today, Celsius. Shot of it after I get it all clean and maybe polish a few pieces. I won't get it all done today. Too much of it. But <laughs> still some on that. Well. Yeah. It's coming right off though. Can you see it through the camera? Yeah. But it is working. I watched uh, Hot Rod Paul's video and he did some fittings and they worked pretty good. Or it worked pretty good. Oh, I thought I'd give it a try. Built this homemade box. It's not hard it is to put a box this big. <laughs> uh, so we can do that right in. Okay. There, I'll give you a shot later. You know, over here, I seem to have lost one of these, which goes into plastic on the front fender. So, I'm going to try to attempt to make one, which will go the opposite way. I have another one, but it's exactly the same as this one, so it goes the wrong way. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to make one, just to see. I'll give you a shot if I get it made. So, well guys, those pieces are done. Man, this stuff is working now. She's just a bobble one. And I'm gonna, those are the longer pieces. It seems to be taking longer to take it off. But I've been taking them out, scrubbing them with the scotch pad, the green one. I don't have any red, so I had to use the, the old kitchen stuff. So, <laughs> But it is working. And uh, saved me a lot of sanding. But you can see the crud on the top of this. It's unreal. Sure saved a lot of work. Still a lot of work left because I have to. I'm going to sand all this stuff with uh, probably start with 600 and 1000 or 800 and then 1000 and then 2000 and uh, then polish it with the, the metal polish. So we'll be back. So far, that's what I got. And it's getting closer to looking like this one. I just gotta beat that roll, that edge a little neater. So I'm just gonna try to do it on this here. Here. Which is really hard to do. I gotta start it with a vice grip. Come really good. Just need straightened. This inside one's harder. I need to put some hope. 
because it's all covered anyways. I'll show you before we're done here. where it goes. I think that's pretty close to what I need. It really sucks because I did two really good ones. I think what happened is I had them wrapped in paper and the box got upset. I scooped it up and threw it in the garbage because I just can't, can't not find it anywhere. So, anyways, you see that? I, I think it's going to work. Seems to be same thickness. Same curve. So we'll see what we can do with it. I gotta try and punch those holes so they have that little dip. So you can see they all have it. Just that top one seems to be a little more prominent than the rest of them. So, anyways, I'll be back once I get it all finished. This is where that part goes. This is not what I'm using, but fits up in here like so you can see that and holds it onto the bottom of the fender anyways I think it's going to work I hope it's going to work so we're going to paint her with the red can dual primer and paint good for metal wood and it's gloss black. I just want to get a coat of paint on it. It's not as nice as the original, but like I said, you don't see it, so. If I had lost the other one, I wouldn't have to do this. Want to get everything ready so I can put the box on or the yeah put the bumper on. So, anyways, that's one another little project. We'll be back. Hello, well, guys. It's July the twentieth, twenty-five after four, and I'm done for the day. She's a warm one. Uh, it's 30 degrees in here, it's warmer outside, so. <laughs> so, like I said, back to work tomorrow. Vacation's over. We didn't do a whole lot while we were on vacation, other than, I don't know, we went to the beach, uh, went out for supper a few times, stuff like that. Worked on the Nova. Got a few things ready for when I'm back to work. I can come out here at nights and do little things. I started the wet sand with a thousand grit on this quarter panel today. Got that quarter panel. Well, it just still needs more around the edges, but overall, the orange peel is coming out nice. Uh, see if I can show this. Um, you see here, it's sanded. And there's no orange peel and then it gets rougher it's that sanding right out I was really curious on that and she's she's really coming out smooth I did go over this with 2000 and buff it with the Meguiar's compound uh, not quite happy with it but I'm gonna try to get some finer sandpaper some 2500 and 3000 and uh, we'll have to order it in because they don't stock it here in town but it is, it is, the orange peel is all gone. Uh, getting a nice clear reflection. 
and I am going to try to get some of the perfect bit compounds because I've been using the McGuire's like I said and uh, I don't know it, it, it's coming out nice but not quite as shiny as I like to have it but I am happy with how the orange peel is coming out of this thing it's coming out really good with the thousand so like I said I uh, been lining things up to do when I get home at night I'm gonna spend an hour out here every night I got the front bumper out here which uh, I'm going to polish it up some more. I got the bump, front bumper bracket, which needs cleaned up. It's in really good shape. Just needs cleaned up. It's really greasy. I got the chrome all, or the trim, aluminum trim all anodized off with the Drano, which worked really good. So, got some sanding to do there. I did a little bit on one of the pieces there. Sherry actually did one piece. I don't know what you did with it, but maybe that's it there. And uh, it's going to take some work, so maybe do a couple pieces a night. Eventually get her done. So it's uh, slow. The brackets, you know, ho well, hopefully that one turns off because it is here. That's the one I made, which does not look quite as good as the other one, but it will work. Uh, Got these brackets painted up. Those hold the plastic back here on the end of the quarters. There's the front license plate holder, which I'm gonna have a once I figure out the name of the car, maybe that's what'll want that. And uh, oh yeah, it was weird. I had showed earlier in this video about me putting the springs in the doors and then I saw a video of HPRs it had the right tool well I knew there was a tool but I've never seen one before but if I ever get a chance I'm going to pick one up but I'm no hurry for it because I don't do them springs very often I don't recommend anybody do it that way I recommend the way HPR did it with the right tool so um, that was uh, nerve wracking putting those in but they're in there and I didn't get hurt and didn't break nothing so I think that was only the second time I've ever done that I did on a Sonoma truck once and did it the same way and I got lucky with it too I got it in without it flying so and this one here if you remember did fly but went down in the fender so and I got my shocks front bumper shocks out there I gotta pick the four best ones and clean them up give them paint and uh, my goal is in the next couple of weeks is to get it, the front end all back together, the bumper on it and plastic on it. And, uh, and then I got to get it appraised because we got to get some shorts on this thing. We have the permit and all we got to do is, well, I'm not sure what I want on it yet. I don't have to have it appraised. I could just put on whatever I want, but I have no idea what the car's worth. So I, I might get it appraised and put that much insurance on it at this point. Uh, where it's not finished, it's got a ways to go. So, uh, but I'm nervous. I'm leaving it outside because of the hood. And well, like I said, gotta have some insurance on it. So, uh, that's got to happen within the next couple of weeks. And uh, it's not much, it's only like, I don't know, $120 a year. It's through this uh, silver wheels, they call it. It's like an antique uh, insurance company. So that'll cover us if something does happen because, well, this week I won't worry about it because it'll be in the garage. But I can't always leave it in here. So, uh, At least when the shorts on, I won't worry. So, anyways, guys, uh, like I said, that's it for the my vacation. Back to work tomorrow. Really not looking forward to it, but gotta work for now until we till for a couple more years, anyways. And then we're gonna move and find a bigger building. 
out in the country where neighbors aren't so close and they're back there and they're over there so I like to get a nice secluded spot so that you know you don't bother nobody noise and paint fumes and all that so uh, that's in the works in the next couple of years and uh, anyways like I said we didn't do much on our vacation because of the Nova sucking us dry <laughs> so to speak but we're both happy with the results um, we both got a vision now that we're gonna have fun with this car uh, as when it's done and uh, so it was well worth it like I said we just did a little bit local stuff go to the beach got some clams and did a little fishing which they're not biting here too much rain so but uh, anyway so I'm gonna let you go here and I'll uh, keep you updated on the Nova and uh, oh while I remember um, I've been watching this guy's videos um, he's working on a 64 Impala uh, two-door Impala and uh, really good videos and uh, if you guys want to go over and check him out his name is Sam Q that's S-A-M-Q and uh, he's uh, doing a crack up job on this car I think he's got a lot of new panels putting them in putting them in right he's taking his time so if you guys go over and check him out greatly appreciate that and uh, anyways I'm gonna let you go here call the day call the week whatever and uh, as soon as I get a chance I'll make another video with some progress on the on the Nova I did get a lot done it's just not that noticeable yet but once I get all this stuff ready then she can go on the car and uh, hopefully by the end of the week I'll have this side sanded to a thousand and maybe start working on the roof so anyways thanks for watching guys take care and uh, We'll see you on the next one. Take care.